Okay, we're now finishing up our third day of, of exploration of this basin. So we've had three days to, to look at the surface material, to dig a few test probes, and to try to get a sense of what's going on in this basin. And I think we're starting to, to, to get some understanding of the different types of archaeology that's here. So come on and I'll show you what we found so far. Um, this is just a representative sample. So here, in our oldest stage of artifacts, we have what are called Ashelian hand axes or hand axes. And these are from a time period called the Lower Paleolithic, and that's anywhere between about 1.5 million years ago and half a million years ago. And unfortunately, because they're all found on the surface, we can't date them. So we don't know exactly how old they are, but we know that from, from sites that were found in Africa, sites that were found in Asia, we have a general idea of the time frame of these in, in places, other places where they're dated. And it's a very specific kind of technology. And it's very simple and effective. This is, you can think of it as, as the Swiss Army knife of, of the Stone Age. It's an all-purpose tool that would have been used for chopping, cutting, slicing, digging. And, and, and what we can, what we, the way we can identify these is they have flake scars taken off here, here, and then on the obverse side from here and here. And this is why they're called bifaces, meaning they've been worked on both faces. And then here at the bottom, this is untrimmed. So this is, this is natural, so that you've got somewhere you can hold it, that you're not going to cut your hand while you're digging. And, and this, we have this style here, and it's repeated over and over and over again. So here's another one. And if you look at it in cross-section, it's not flat, as we call it, biconvex. It's thick. It has almost a, a triangular cross-section. And that tells us they're really old. They're from the oldest phase of the Ashelian period. Um, and again, it's over and over and over again. You can see this. And you can also see the weathering so that the edges are rounded. The, 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 the material has been desilicified. It's been, it's been dissolved in the sediment. Um, there's mechanical damage on the edges. And um, so, so this tells us, especially compared to some of the other material, that it's much older. And here, this one is my favorite. This one is a really nice, nicely made. You can still see the, the flake scars pretty sharply here, coming in from the top and here from the other side. And that's created this, this cutting edge here, this chopping edge. And then again, the base is untrimmed, so you can get your hand on it and hold it here. So that is the oldest technology, and this is lower Paleolithic from, from say, half a million or a million years ago or something like that. And then we come over to our next time period. And for our project, this is what we're really focused on. This is from what's called the Middle Paleolithic. Middle Paleolithic is, say, about between 150,000 years ago and 50,000 years ago, roughly. And this, it's a much different way of making a tool. So even though this looks a little bit like what I just showed you, it looks a little bit like a biface, it's not. It's actually a core. This is not the tool. This was simply what they used to make the tool. And what they would do is they would pick up a piece of raw material, and then they would flake around the sides, they'd flake around here, and they would, they would prepare the striking platform. And they're doing everything to get, to prepare for one final removal, where they'd turn it like this, they'd hit it here, and then this type of piece would come off. This is the intended product. This is the tool. This is called a Levawa point, a prepared core point. So this would have been the entire goal of this process is to create a triangular, flat, strong spear point that you can use for hunting. So it has all these telltale signs. So it has the faceted striking platform here that's been prepared. It has this Y-shaped arete. And and it would have been attached onto a wooden shaft or a bone handle or something like that. It would have been used as a spear. So this is this middle Paleolithic time period, and it is so prominent here in Oman. It is such an important stage of, of early human development, and it's so well re represented here. So this is really the point of our study. So it's interesting to see that they are here too. They, 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 they typically are everywhere we look, so they were all over this country. And then lastly, what we're finding is the most recent. And for us, this is like yesterday. So this is another core. 
just like I showed you, but in this case, it's a whole different type of technology. So they've picked up a piece of raw material. The, the ancient tool makers have picked this up and they've hit it here, they've hit it here, they've hit it here, um, from all these different directions. Um, this one is, is an interesting point because they've hit it here and they, they, they made a mistake. This is called a hinge fracture. So this means that they didn't apply enough force or they used the wrong angle and they ended up creating this ledge at the bottom which makes the whole um, piece of raw material useless. So this, I would estimate, could be anywhere between, I don't know, uh, say 5,000 years ago, six, 7,000 years ago. Um, it's a really crude technology. So interestingly, and it just goes to show you that you start in the lower Paleolithic and with, with much more elaborate tools in the middle Paleolithic where they're perfecting their, 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 their skills. And by the time you get to this, which could be sort of late Neolithic, they're de-emphasizing stone. They're, they're not such good flint nappers anymore. They're not such good uh, stone tool makers. Um, so yeah, so this, this we would say is relatively recent. It's yesterday, 8,000, 6,000, 5,000 years ago. So that's what we're finding here in the basin.